All right, this is lesson 4.1, part 3, vertical line test. So this is in the same lesson where we've been talking about functions and domain and range. Um, in this lesson, we'll be looking at how do we determine if something is a function or not. Um, and we'll be using this vertical line test uh, to make that distinction. So just uh, as a review, this is something we talked about in class, um, but a relation uh, pairs inputs and outputs. Think of like a relationship, okay? A relation pairs inputs and outputs, any inputs and any outputs. But a relation that specifically pairs one output with exactly one, one input with exactly one output is a function, okay? So a function we've talked about is a relationship between values, um, but it's specifically it's a relationship of one value and another. A relation could have one input that goes to multiple outputs, so it's not just a one-to-one -one, uh, one -to -one relationship, okay? It's not exclusive in that way. So you can see here in this image uh, that this top table shows a relation because zero is going to two different outputs, right? Um, the same num the same input is going to two different outputs. That makes it a relation. It's still a relationship between numbers and values, but it's not specifically a function because one input is going to multiple outputs. Now down here in this mapping diagram is a function uh, because this is showing all the inputs going to one output. Now, two different inputs are going to one output, and that's okay. That's a function. Uh, that's still a function because you still have different outputs, each going to one, or different inputs going to different, or one output. Now, let me say that again because I messed up a little bit. Um, this is still a function because you have different inputs uh, going to um, an output. Okay, They're still paired with, on with only one, uh, one output. Right, like this zero is paired with two different. Even it's showing two zeros, but it's you know one number, one input is paired with two different outputs. In this case, um, these inputs are still just paired with one output. Okay? So that makes it a function. Okay? Um, that that's a specific type of relationship between values. Okay, um, again, the function word sometimes people get lost in that. It's really just a specific type of relationship between values that's exclusive from one input to one output. Um, so how do we determine if something is a function or not a function from a graph? And how, do, how do we do that? Well, there's actually a very simple test that we can do to determine if something is a function or not a function uh, in, when it's in a graph form. So this vertical line test says that a graph represents a function when no vertical line passes through more than one point on the graph. So remember, our vertical line goes up and down. Um, and if I draw a vertical line through at any, at any place on uh, the graph, if it, doesn't, if it only touches one point, okay, then that is a function. You can see that over here. If it happens to touch anywhere on the graph, two points, two or more points um, on that graph, then that is not a function. That's a relation, but it's not specifically a function because we have one input going to multiple outputs. Okay? So we're going to do this test and try to figure out from different graphs, is it a function or not? Okay? And we'll use the vertical line test um, to help us figure that out. Right? So let's look at a few examples to, to work with this. So looking at a few examples of these graphs, how do we determine if they are a function or not? Okay? Um, we'll use the vertical line test uh, to figure that out. Uh, so let's look at this first one, number eight, and all of these are in your notes um, as well. And so he, this one is what we call a discrete graph, which we'll call later, um, with these uh, just, the, just these points, right? Not connected uh, by a line or anything. Um, so this is still you know, a, a graph, but we need to determine is it a function or not? Um, and to do that, we can just do the vertical line test, which, um, let's do a color you can see. Um, so I'm going to draw a vertical line through this graph. And because there are these discrete points, I'm going to draw it through each one. There, there, there. So for all those vertical lines, do they ever touch more than one point? Right? So if I'm just looking at this line, does this touch more than one point on the graph? No. What about this one? No. No, 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 and no. Right? So all of all the vertical lines I drew through this graph, none of them touch more than one point at a time. Okay? So that passes the vertical line test. And so we would say that this is 
yes, this is a function. So that is what passes the vertical line test, is if when I draw vertical lines through vertical lines through each, uh, you know, through different points on the graph, um, is it going to pass through more than one point? If it doesn't, then that's a function. Okay. So let's look at another one. Let's look at number nine here. So let's draw some vertical lines through this graph and see um, if it passes through more than one point. So if I draw one over here, I can draw one over here, through here, through here. You can even look at the grid lines that are there. At any point, is it touching more than one point on the graph? All right, so it's touching right here, but it doesn't touch anywhere else. It's touching right here, but it doesn't touch anywhere else. Here, not anywhere else. Here, not anywhere else. So no matter where I draw a vertical line on this graph, it's never going to touch more than one point on the graph, right? They, they only intersect once. Okay, that, that's the big thing you're looking at, is how many times does it, that vertical line intersect or cross that graph? Um, it's only crossing once, no matter where I draw a vertical line. So, yes, this is a function as well. Okay. That's a function as well. Right. That's, that's how we're doing the vertical line test. Not particularly complicated, just drawing a vertical line. You just need to know uh, if you're, doing it, you're, you're um, thinking about the vertical line correctly, right? if you're thinking about the test correctly. So let's look at this last one, number 10. Um, we've got this, this circle graph with, with a point there in the middle, too. Um, so if I draw line, vertical lines through this, does it cross at any more, any times more than one point? Does it? Yes, it does, right? Look at this vertical line over here. It crosses here and here. Okay? It touches the graph there and there. Here and here, right? So, And I don't need to necessarily do all of them. I would only need to do it really once to see um, that, oh, yes, it does, uh, you know, Across this graph more than once. So it's touching two points on that graph. So this does not pass the vertical line test. So this is, um, we would say that no, this is not a function. So that doesn't pass the vertical line test. Um, because when I drew um, my vertical line through, it touched at two different points on that graph. Okay. And so that's not a function. So that's how you're going to use the vertical line test to determine if something is a function or not. And it's determining what type, and remember we're just determining what type of relationship does this graph have or not. Is it a function type relationship or is it um, a different type of relationship? Um, and so that's what you'll be doing in this lesson is determining is this a function or not using the vertical line test.